particular paper focused on wild civets, wild civets, not in captivity, okay. in the Western Ghats, which are these mountain ranges on the western side of the Indian Peninsula. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's a coffee called Kopi Luwak. The market value is $7 billion <laughs> for this. Civic coffee, the real chemistry behind this bizarre luxury drink. And that's what this paper is about. Right. It's about describing the chemistry behind why, when coffee beans go through the gastrointestinal tract of this animal, you want to look at the raw naked chemical composition, right, yep. before you treat it to, to that heat. Yep. And so that's exactly what they did. Um, they figured out that there's, in the civic gut, there's, there's a bioreactor. There's... Just like we have gut bacteria, the yes. civets have gut bacteria. Yes. And we're pretty sure that that's linked to some kind of fermentation. Mm. It metabolizes like sulfur-containing amino, amino acids. It metabolizes hydrogen sulfide. So that could be some kind of chemistry that's leading to this unique taste. Mm -hmm. The other thing they realized was caprylic acid methyl ester and capric acid methyl ester. These are two types of medium, um, medium chain fatty acids. They're named as derived from the Latin term for goat or ah, capra. Yes. And they're basically these chains of carbon compounds that impart a desirable dairy or milk-like aroma oh, and flavor. Okay, got okay? It. Got and, it. and the compounds that came out of the civet gut had a higher concentration of this. So we're saying civet coffee is the goat. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Apparently it is. Yeah. Um, so there's two things that can happen with the study. One, you can you can um, target fraud. You can test for these mm. compounds and be like, this is not. Uh, this did not come out of a civet uh, So anyone who's branding $80 cups yeah. of coffee in Better, New York and L.A. and San Francisco, yeah. that's really just selling off-the-shelf Colombian coffee beans. Yeah. You can actually have like a... Yeah, you can have actually have a test. The other thing that I'm I'm more um, excited about is you know you do have this ethical crisis with the um, caging and mistreatment of these animals. Yes. Well, if you could like identify the key microbial players and the chemical output, you could make fake ones of this, mm. just how we make fake diamonds yeah, now, yeah, so we don't need yeah, blood yeah, diamonds. Yeah, 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 and yeah. you could you could then sell these for a lot less, and without the ethical dilemma, without caging. You know? and